right block or the left, playing inside zone football with your offensive line, or whatever it is, so you have the best opportunity to be able to succeed, knowing what to do, knowing how to do it, knowing why it's important to do it that way. None of these things take any ability. Doesn't take ability to give effort. Doesn't take ability to sustain. Have the mental toughness to sustain. Doesn't have. That doesn't take any ability to be conscientious to know what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, why it's important to do it that way. But there is a prerequisite for it, and that's you got to be in great condition. If you're not in great condition, none of these things are going to happen. When are you going to low? When you're tired. You're not going to finish place when you get tired. You're going to give in. Mentally, when are you going to make mistakes? When you're tired. If you're not in condition, you can't sustain. Your mental toughness will break down and you can't sustain. So you've got to be someone who's committed to get yourself in great condition so that you can sustain, so that you can give effort, so you can be responsible to yourself and your teammates to do your job. Look, I'm using this word commitment. Let's talk about goals. What are your goals and aspirations for what you want to accomplish as a football player, as a person, and as a student? Those are all things that every one of you guys should be thinking about. So you got to have goals and aspirations. If you don't know what you want to do, how can you commit to doing anything as well as you can? The second thing you got to understand is what do you have to do to accomplish those goals and aspirations? That's called process. Process is a, is, is a definition of what I have to do to accomplish the goal that I have. And then you got to move over here sideways and say, how do I have to edit my behavior to do it? You know, when Kobe Bryant was here, one of the players asked him, how did you score 60 points in the 82nd game of the season when you were 40 years old, coming off an Achilles tendon? surgery. And he said, when I made a decision to play one more year, I knew how hard I was going to have to work. I had to work eight hours a day for 365 straight days so that I could play that season. They don't put that part on ESPN. But when he made a commitment to play one more year, he knew what he was going to have to do and how much work it was going to take for him to be able to do it. And that's how he scored 60 points in the last game he ever played. Edit your behavior. If you continue to do things the way you've always done them, you're going to continue to get the same result. Guarantee it. Now, that could be good if you get good results. But if you have the ability to self-assess, you know what that means? Evaluate what you did. And don't protect yourself. Just to make a determination. Here's things I need to improve on. Here's things I need to work on. You'll be more willing to take coaching. You'll be more willing to take teaching. And you'll actually improve because you know you need to get better. And then the last part of this is you've got to have the discipline to execute it every day. So I'm sure your coach has some sign up in the locker room that says discipline is due, what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done, do the right thing, the right way, the right time, all the time. And those are great definitions of discipline. I'm talking about self-discipline. Every guy here makes hundreds of decisions every day that comes down to two questions. There's something I know I'm supposed to do that I really don't want to do. And you make yourself do it. I don't care if what your mom tells you to take out the garbage. You're supposed to do it, you want to do it or not, whether you feel like doing it or not. There's something I know I'm supposed to do that I really don't want to do, and you make yourself do it. Over here, there's something you know you're damn well not supposed to do, and you want to do it. Can you keep yourself from it? We make hundreds of decisions every day that come down to those two questions, and it starts as soon as the clock goes off in the morning. I don't feel like getting up, I don't feel like going to school, I got a quiz. You're going or not. You'll feel like practicing today. Like some of you guys, I can see by looking at you, you've got weight issues. Why do you have weight issues? You don't have enough self-discipline to make the right kind of choices and decisions about how you take care of your body, what you do, how you get in condition to be able to sustain and play. It's no disrespect. If I want her to lose 10 pounds, that's my goal. Slim fast tells me what to do every day. When do I fail? 
on a pie and ice cream, which is three days. So everybody's got to have the self-discipline to not do what you feel like doing, but choose to do the things you need to do to accomplish the goals you have. And if you want to be successful, that's something that you're going to have to do. So look, every one of you guys I, has a team that you play on. And every one of you have a coach I, that, that establishes the principles and values that are important to your team and your success. And you have to buy into them. You have to trust in those and you have to respect those. Because it's the only way you're going to have any team chemistry is if everybody on the team does that. And you're also going to have to respect and trust your teammates. So if you want to have a good team, make sure you're doing it. The second thing you need to make sure of is you're being positive. Nobody likes negative people, man. Nobody likes people who's got their head down. Why it takes it's energy vampires, man. Why you take everybody's energy around you. You need to be positive, uplifting, set a good example, being somebody that somebody can emulate, care enough about somebody else to help them for their benefit. That's going to help your team, and that's going to help you. And then you have to be responsible for your own self-determination. You know, you're never going to have a job, whether it's on your team or in, in, in your community, where somebody doesn't define a standard and an expectation, and you have to live up to it. And if you can't do that, they're going to fire you and get somebody else. It's, so don't look over your shoulder like it's somebody else's fault. Take responsibility for what you're supposed to do. Be accountable for what you're supposed to do. Don't look for an easy way, because you need to have the character to make the right choices and decisions, which requires you to have resiliency and perseverance to be able to overcome adversity. You can never have any great victories in your life if you can't overcome adversity. The adversity is what makes it a great victory. And then the last thing you need to do is have pride in performance. All right, which means what? I'm going to be the best I can be at what I choose to do. And you know, I, I always say this um, Martin Luther King sermon to our players every time we come to fall camp, you know, in August, uh, because I wanted to think about this. Like, the sermon goes this way There's only one guy in the Green Stamp store in Montgomery, Alabama that I don't try my shoes because of the pride and performance that guy has in trying to shoes. Wants to do it the best he can do you to please the best he can please you. And the smile he gets on his face when you tell him he did a good job. And he goes on to say, if you want to be a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper there ever was. Sweep the streets like Mike Williams located in the Sistine Chapel, like Shakespeare wrote that if you let him put a sign up that says the best street sweeper in the world lives right here. And if you can do that, you accomplish the best there is in life. You know, you did your best to be the best you could be matter what you choose to do. So all you guys want to be happy, right? You want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. You want to be happy in your life? Do what I just said. Pick something and go make a commitment to being the best you can be at. It doesn't have to be football. It could be school. It could be being an engineer someday. It could be a welder. It could be whatever you want it to be. All right, but when you pick it, you go be the best that you can be. And if you want to be happy about that, you'll be happy because you have a lot of positive self-gratification in knowing you did your best to be the best you could be no matter what you choose to do. All right, so take that attitude today as a football player. You're only going to get an opportunity to do this for so much of your life. So the coaches are going to try to help you improve. You should be focused on improvement. You should be focused on being the best you can be and choosing to be here today. And that's what we want to help you do. So I wish you guys the very best in your season. I hope you all have a great season. I think you have individual luck, team success, uh, and you have a chance to uh, go a long way and get a lot of positive self-gratification for all your efforts and hard work. So uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Roll Tide. Thank you.